The next thing we're going to look at is the Posts to Posts plugin. If you do not have that already installed in your WordPress install, please do so. There we go. It wants spaces in the name. Singular does not work. It is plural posts to plural posts. All right, now I had it, have it activated. And I'm going to do a review of it here before we start hacking on it. Its purpose is to allow you to associate any single post with any other single thingy, category, post, uh, post type, or whatever. Um, Actually, you know what? I think it actually goes to another single post. So we have a, a department's content type, and uh, I don't remember what departments I have. I have, I think I have the kids' uh, web development and children's toys. And we have staff. So I can say that Louis L'Amour is going to be associated with the web development department. And once we build it right, by itself, it builds a wonderful user interface in the admin area to just so your end users should just make this happen. Actually doing something with that on the front end is where it gets a little more tricky because the WP query I showed you, we have to adjust that to say, okay, also go get, you know, only the posts that are associated with this other post. And there's wonderful documentation and I will show you how that works. Um, Oh, it says, additionally, you can create many-to-many -many relationships between posts and users. So you can also implement favorite posts of users, multiple authors per post, that sort of thing. So let's take a look at the screenshots. So in his example, he has um, actors and movies. So this is, this is the actual admin interface. You're able to search for these actors and click the plus and associate them with friends, I guess. I don't remember how that works. Um, then for movies, no, I'm sorry, this is, uh, this is the actors, I think. I don't remember, I did this once, the whole thing, just to replicate it. But you can say that Charlie Kaufman was the lead and Yuri Orlo was the lead and so on and so forth. And then this is the admin UI. So right in, the, right in the column, it says what they played in. Um, then in your main sidebar, there's a widget that's pre-built that you can say, wow, whatever language that word is, I want to show the connection of actors and the movies they played in. Um, connection type screen. I don't remember that one. So we'll get to that. Um, let's see, frequently asked questions file. Nope, that's not what I want. Installation? Yes. Installation has a link to basic usage. This right here is the shortest piece of code available to associate stuff. This allows you to associate posts and pages. This code going back to our philosophy, could go in your themes, or your theme function.php, or it could go in a plugin. So one of the first things we're going to do is make a plugin that does nothing, and then we'll come back to it and put this code in it to start associating our departments and our staff. I'm going to suggest that we make an MU plugin so that it's always running because we're always going to want these on our website. And the simplest way to do it is to copy hello.php, which is hello dolly, and just edit the header information and wipe out all the PHP that does anything. So I have I have tofer.php. Tofer the PHP file can be called anything you want. 
Make sure you don't call it something that somebody else has already used. Don't make it index.php. That'll get awkward. But you can really name it anything you want. We need an mu plugins directory. Yes. Plugins. Yep. In wp content, you need mu plugins. So it's parallel to regular plugins. Yep. Yep. Custom functions for Topher. There, that's what mine looks like. You want to make sure that your plugin name is never going to be exactly the same as any other plugin on the planet. That's surprisingly easy to do. I really doubt anyone's ever going to make another plugin called Custom Functions for Topher, unless I hire them, in which case I can say, don't do that. <laughs> um, all of the others are essentially optional. You can write anything you want in there. Uh, it could even be a duplicate of every other plugin in the world, and nobody's going to care. The name is the important bit. Once you're done there, you can go to your plugins page in WordPress and see if you have a must use item there, and you should see your plugin. Custom functions for Topher. These are some custom fu custom functions just for Topher's website. Version 1.0 by Topher. Visit plugin site. 